before I go for a gasless opening in Zerg versus Zerg, and it's even a three hatch before pool opening, and this is a map specific choice. So you can take the three hatch before pool, you could do that on this map. The rush distance is very long, you have rocks here and rocks here. So there is one path to the opponent, but it's a pretty long path. So if you did go three hatch before pool and they cheesed you, you could still make some lings and spines and potentially hang on. This map is probably the best for doing those greedy adjustments to your build. The reason gasless is nice in addition to three hatch before pool is you can block this area with a roach evo evo and create a really narrow choke for the opponent to attack into if they're going for some ling bane aggression. So I go three hatch before pool, the opponent is going hatch gas pool, which is probably the most normal build you could possibly go for. And I have an overlord here, scouting this exit from my opponent's base. And then this second overlord over here, it's gonna go to this path. So if I have these two areas covered with overlords, I know exactly when and how many units are gonna come toward me. So boom, we see all these links. One of the nice little mental tricks you can do is see every two links is one drone. So when I see this, I know I'm ahead in workers, assuming I've spent my larva correctly, and I have. So what do I do? I try and get my wall done as fast as I can. Roach, Evo, Evo with one little hole for these two queens. I'm trying to get two queens in the hole. So the reason I have two queens here instead of one is when the opponent attacks in here, they can only get maybe two to three lings on each queen. If I have one queen that's in the front of the wall, and they'll have four lings of DPS on that queen. So the queen's gonna die faster. As opposed to here, the damage is divided between the two queens and they have 175 HP a piece. So the queens go in the hole and I wanna pull my new queens over to help. Because this is the main area where the conflict is happening. The opponent's trying to bust the wall. When this Evo falls, I go to make another Evo to make this choke smaller. And then just boxing the workers that are right here to try and assist this queen. If I'm super far ahead in drones, it's okay to pull some drones into the action and then send them back to work and go back to droning. I only made four lings here. I don't really want to make slow lings in this scenario. I don't have speed for them, so slow lings are really, really bad as an investment. They're not really going to do too much. I would rather make queens and drones. So back to business, I have two gases. I took these two gases just for reference when I had around 10 drones at this base. Lines up pretty nicely. A lot of players have the problem where they'll take their gases too early and it cuts into the growth of their economy. So this is the next stage of the opponent's aggression. They're going for some drop stuff. So I'm sending my queens over there and I'm leaving one queen in the hole. It's pretty common that they'll try to draw your attention with one of these aggressive moves and then they'll push in here with their other stuff, but this queen's going to hold the door. Good job, queen. The order of my gas spend in this game was lair first to get to roach speed, and then I'm going double upgrades. If you're going double upgrades, you're going to have a really nice advantage at 2-2. So I'm taking all my gases, trying to get full value from my three bases. I'm just staying ahead of the opponent economically. The opponent has their third taking their gases a little bit too early, I think. So we see in supply, I have 64 workers to the opponent's 50. I have less supply in army before I start making roaches. And I didn't start making roaches until I had around 64 drones because the queens and spines are gonna be able to anchor me in. The times when you would need to make roaches early would be if they went for something like a roachling or roachling ravager attack. But aside from that, you can just solve the early Ling Bane aggression issues with Mass Queen. Queens are very good, and they gain value over time. At the end of this game, someone asked in the chat if I always take this as my fourth base. The reason I took that as my fourth is because the roaches that I'm sending across the map are naturally going to be running past that base. So if they attack me here, I have some queens, and the reinforcement roaches are going to be running by here. So I could just move them over to defend this location. So to begin with, I expanded away from the opponent by taking this base so that I can establish creep and a wall. And then this is my third because it's a pocket base and it's very safe. 
but then I expanded aggressively toward the opponent here because my army is moving forward. So I'm defending my fourth base with these units here that are attacking my opponent and forcing the action on their side of the map. And they're not going to be able to afford a really big attack while also defending against my attack. So I have 1-1 one, one against the opponent's what? Plus one attack. And then my plus two range kicked in. I have plus two armor on the way. Hydra is a really good follow-up to the double evo approach. So I'm going to go for some of those, some Hydras. I think the Infestation Pit and going for some Infestors with Road Ravager is better if you're going for a single EVO strategy. The reasons for that would be Hydras cost less gas than Infestors, and Infestors don't benefit from upgrades. So if you're going heavy into upgrades, then Roach Hydra or Roach Hydra Lurker would be a more logical follow-up than Infestor. You can still go for Infestor, though. But I don't really have the income to go for all those different pieces. Cool. So this is the outcome of me defending an early worker lead with a three hatch before pool gasless, and then leveraging my worker lead into really well upgraded Roach Ravager. Wicked. Usually, when you wall and go roach, the opponent likes to do mutas. Are you supposed to take a third and all in? You don't need to all in if the opponent's going for mutas. You can just make a bunch more queens. The downside of someone going for mutas is when both players get to 200 supply, the muta player almost always has the weaker army because mutas are more finesse harassment units than direct fighting units. And mutas have a really big issue with cleaning up heavily upgraded roach attacks. If you go for a huge roach attack, especially with burrow and tunnel claws, it just takes so many shots for mutas to kill roaches, unless they have attack upgrades. I would say in general in ZVZ that it's more difficult to play against mutas than it is to play mutas. Just because spore placement can be kind of tricky and then landing fungal, dealing with muta harass, that type of thing. So a lot of people just default to playing Mutas because they don't like playing Roach against Muta. But it is very possible. Some good Tunnel Roach harassment sizes if you're against Muta, just going for 7. 